Hello collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am I've got a spread out here I really just wanted to lay the cards out and resonate on them for a bit but we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. Um, this reading is for the collective so it, it's not gonna be for all of you okay just take what resonates leave the rest behind um, don't try to force it right and thank you everyone for all of your support seriously i say it every reading man i love you all so much thank you for everything the likes subscribes um comments you guys your neat little comments um everybody new here thank you so much for everything all right so um and i hope you guys are having a great weekend so far okay so i just you know honestly i laid the cards out and i just wanted to feel the energy right um here's the thing you've got a, a whole slew of people upset okay um yeah there's a lot of fighting a lot of strife a lot of chaos going on behind the scenes you know why because there's a person here who realizes they've listened to the wrong group they uh i feel like everybody in this group wanted to sabotage this connection okay and they did they did they sabotaged it because your person believed all the lies. Um, everyone had them under some kind of illusion, right? And now everything is coming out. Um, it, they know the truth about you. I feel like this person, um, somehow they're watching you. So you could be in the public eye. You could have your own platform. You could be posting something on social media. You could just be out and about, maybe a public speaker or you're being seen somehow okay and the more they watch you the more they realize they were lied to um i feel like they were told everything opposite of what you really are okay uh somebody told them maybe you were weak maybe they told them you weren't responsible you weren't dedicated to anything you had no drive um they could have told them that you know you were some kind of player or um that maybe you weren't single or that you weren't ever going to accomplish much, okay? They, whoever these people, whatever they said about you, it was all a big fat lie. And your person realizes this now. Like, this is complete clarity. They're, they're not going to be able to unsee what they've seen, okay? Um, so, yeah, I, I'm getting the sense that they're going to be leaving a lot of people behind here. This is a masculine who's walking around like Eeyore energy, right? Ho-hum, really sad, all up in their emotions, feeling very ashamed, ashamed of themselves because they believed lies and they just, I feel like this person ghosted you and they, they watched you walk away crying. And nobody did anything about it. I feel like and then after that, it was almost like they threw you to the wolves, right? And these people in the background, this group, it could be a, a friend group, family. Um, it could be exes. I don't, I, it's a whole entire group of people that just, I mean, the, the lies continued. The bashing continued. The laughing at this connection falling apart, that continued. The, I mean, this is lies, betrayal, deceit, and you know what? And it, it was to, uh, it, the people loved it. They enjoyed this. Okay, your person, whoever this is, possible Virgo energy. I've got Scorpio out here. Um, I've got some Gemini out here, Libra. I feel like whoever your person is here, I even, yeah, heavy Virgo, um, they're in a lot of regret now for believing all of these other people that really just, they only wanted to bring this connection down. And that tells me it's a very important connection. Okay, it's very important. Um, and you're coming out here with a twin flame card. So this this could be a twin flame soulmate connection. I kind of use that lightly. It's a very deep level important soulmate connection. And it could have been, I feel like this was, um, this could have been their destiny here with the Ten of Cups um, and their wish fulfillment here. I feel like this person was smug. 
Um, maybe when they left you, they were very smug about it. You know, now they're out in the cold and they don't know how to get back in. They don't know how to confront all the things that, you know, you don't even know half of the lies that were told about you. I feel like you know that people were lying about you. You know people are watching you. You know people have turned you into some kind of joke in the background. They've been laughing about your pain for a long time. Um, yeah, and your person realizes it too. Like, you have no idea the kind of lies that, that they've believed. Uh, not to mention maybe some of the things that they said about you as well. So now they're really afraid to confront because ever since they, they, and you know, everybody acted so smug about it. Like I said, no one came to your aid, nothing. They just watched you suffer and kicked you while you were down. And now ever since then, you haven't been speaking to this person. You said, you know what, forget it. You knew your value. You didn't chase. You didn't retaliate. You didn't seek any kind of revenge. You didn't even talk to these people after that. And they continued to whip you for no reason at all. So instead, you focused on yourself. Okay, these people, whoever this is, that everybody really put you through it. You know, you could have even said something to this person like, people just keep dragging me through the dirt. People keep ruining my reputation. You know, maybe you trusted this person that they wouldn't do that to you. And they did, they, they did the same thing that everybody else was doing. They're really ashamed of it. Not these people, though. They want to continue the fight, right? They want to continue to bash you. They want to continue to have something to laugh at. You know, these people must not have a whole lot going on in their life. If all they, if their main hobby is to bring somebody else down that isn't even doing anything wrong to them, they must not have anything else going on in their life. Look at it that way. And if it takes a whole group of people, which that's what it looks like to me, there's five people here in this picture. You know, all under judgment, by the way, could be six people, right? Five to six people. It took that many people to try to bash on the one who's succeeding anyway? I feel like you're being divinely led. You're a divine being here. Whether you're a divine feminine or masculine, you're being spiritually protected. And these people now, I feel like um, you're either being led to walk away and maybe even go in a different direction, okay? Okay maybe even a, a location change, a move. But I, I really get the sense that, yeah, and I, um, everybody else is going to have to walk away from you now. Because you know what? You're being protected. I'm also seeing this as, like I said, you know what? Peop, a lot of people put you through it. You could have told this person before. All the times that you thought you had a full cup there and it ended up being empty, people like just... Man, I feel like you've been really mistreated possibly your whole life. And you could have said this to this person. And they ended up doing the same thing to you that everybody else did. And now they're in a lot of regret for it. Definitely a divine being. Now, here's where the interesting part comes in. This person now is standing up for you. Now they're defending you. They're telling all these people to shut up. Shut up, sit down. They can see that you are um, ultimate wish fulfillment. They could have had happiness with you, and they don't want to let you go. Yeah, this person is defending you. They're defending you now. With the Seven of Wands and Justice, you bet they are. Now they're sticking up for you. They're saying, what are you talking about? Look at you were all lying to me. I can see that clearly now. You were all lying to me. You, you have an opinion about this person? Back off. That's what they're saying. They're telling everybody to back off you. Yes, they are. With justice out here, they, they know the truth and they're letting these people have it. They won't let anybody come towards them anymore with any more lies about you. 
you know I feel like um yeah they uh this is like vindication behind the scenes justice for you but I have a feeling that it may be too late for this person so do they they feel it too the more that they think about you they the more they realize you were the one for them this could be your divine masculine over here you could be a divine feminine right they know that they made the wrong decision in listening to everybody else talk about you, talk smack about you behind your back. And a lot of these people may not have even known you. You know, look at them. Look at the way they may not have even known you. Some of these people had n no idea who you were. Maybe never even met you before. And this person listened to everything that they said. They pushed you away. They may have joined in in the trash talk. Now they're in a whole lot of regret for that because, see, you're out here taking control of your own life. You're looking at these people like they're all nuts. I feel like you know they may even want to continue to, to bash you and or maybe they even want to come and try to confront you. And you're ready. You're ready. You've been put through too much already and you've come too far to back down and be and be worried about these people. You know, so yeah, this is the warrior queen here. You could be a Libra, Gemini, or why I don't know why I said that. Yeah, you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Gemini's out here. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But whatever you are, whoever you are, whatever sign you are, you're tough as nails now. And now, and it's almost like with the with the with the Queen of Wands out here staring right at these people. You know exactly. You may know exactly who these people are. You see right through them. And you know what? It's almost like you're you're standing here saying, you know, if you want, if you have something to say about me, you could show up at my door whenever you want. You come and face me then. Then come and face me. You can't come and face me. Not even a whole entire group can't come uh, and face this Queen of Wands. You know, that tells you just how tough of a warrior you are. Okay, and you're spiritually protected. I feel like all of these people are going to have to walk away, maybe even this masculine, and that's the last thing that they want to do. Now they're stressing out, right? Losing sleep at night. Losing friends, too, or fake friends, right? Because they're pushing people away here. They're pushing opinions away. They're definitely defending you here. Okay, definitely defending you here. Um, t maybe telling people that was my wish fulfillment. I could have had happiness and I don't want to let that go. Maybe this person was too afraid. You know, these other people in their trash talk made them too afraid to approach you or afraid to follow through with this and they're losing it. Yeah, they're laying in bed at night having nightmares about this collective they are. Having, having nightmares, horrible dreams. You know, they know how badly you've been treated and for what? It doesn't show me anywhere in here that you did anything wrong to these people. If anything, you were probably extremely loving and caring as a divine being. As a divine being, you're an earth angel. I feel like you were absolutely innocent. Look, the divine is mad too. Boom. Yep. The divine is angry too. Yep. And your person, I feel like, and this can also be a sudden realization, but I'm seeing this as a tower moment. I'm seeing this as the divine um, bringing chaos to these people's lives because of what they did here to a divine feminine, divine masculine. And I'm seeing a masculine energy um, in a whole lot of grief, a whole lot of pain, a whole lot of regret, feeling ashamed for believing the wrong people. They should have known better. 
if this person, I've got to say, if this person was, have, like, if they started a relationship with you, if this person was intimate with you, if you were loving to this person, they should have known better. You know, when, you, when you're having a relationship with someone, if anybody comes and talks about you behind your back, you know what, that person should have defended you to begin with. You defend the person you're with. If you're sharing your body with somebody, they better be expected to defend you. Sorry, but that's how it is. So, you know, yeah, now they're in a whole lot of grief, feeling heartbroken, because this two cups, this soulmate connection is going down. It is. I feel like this person feels like it may be hopeless. They're very frustrated. They've ran out of time to figure all of this out. This person is there. I feel like they're having headaches because my head is starting to get a lot of pressure in it here. Um, I, they're having a lot of headaches. Yeah, look at the way they're holding their head. <laughs> they're holding their head here. They're holding their head here. This person is like getting, they're thinking about you so much. It's giving them like a migraine. Okay, they're under, it's, it's almost like pressure, okay? They're feeling, they're a mess. They're feeling heartbroken, ashamed, worried, frustrated. Yeah, but here's the thing. Now, now they know, right? They learned a lesson. I don't think this person's going to ever forget this lesson. They're hopeful they can get another chance with you. There's that regret. Because they could have had it all. They had you in the palm of their hands at one point and they let you slip right through their fingers. They just released you and let you go like you were nothing. Believe in other people's trash talk. That's what they did. And I'm telling you what. I, I'm telling if if you share your body with somebody and you're intimate and you're starting a new relationship, man, that person owes you, they, I'm sorry, but they do, they owe you the respect and consideration to at least talk to you about what other people are saying, or they better defend you. Or I feel like you already, at that point, you deem them not worthy. I, I really feel like I'm talking to somebody who's just been put through way too much at the hands of other people that were idiots. And now you're releasing yourself from that. You're moving forward. This is taking a leap of faith. This is starting a new journey. Enthusiastic now. You're freeing yourself from all of these people. Uh, you're realizing, I feel like it was so many people around you that just mistreated you. So many people around you. It could be a whole community of people. But this masculine energy here, man, they handled it all wrong. I'm telling you, if you were intimate with this person, they should have defended you right then and there. Right then and there. They're crying now. I feel like the, uh, they do a lot of crying. They're having a lot of headaches, guys. I can feel it. The pressure in my, in my head when this card came out here. Um, yeah, look at the headaches. Headaches, headaches, headaches. Yeah, now they're very discouraged, okay? They don't think they're going to get another chance with you. They don't want to let you go. You're all they can think about. They've, this person thinks about you so much. I'm telling you, it's giving them like a migraine. Because they missed out. They really missed out. And not only did they miss out on everything, this is like having the kind of life that everybody dreams of having. You were somebody, now they're realizing you were the one that they could have been happiest with. You are the one that would have made them truly happy. Okay? And maybe this person, you know, they felt it when they were with you. This is also like wanting to be home. Um, so you did something like the way your energy was. I feel like you really um, 
made this person just feel comfortable all the time. Okay? Yeah. They had no reason to believe these other people. If they were already with you, and I feel like they were, because these people got in the middle of a connection and trashed it. And this person let them. If they were having a, 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 they had started a relationship with you, if they were being loving with you, if this person was um, giving you promises or just, you know, it was good, right? If you were being intimate together, they know they should have defended you right from the start. You just don't do that. You know, you don't, you don't do that. And you don't go around trashing somebody else who didn't do anything wrong to you. You don't take somebody's love and, and then just let other people just whip on that person. You don't do that. You know, they're realizing this, though. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling like a panic off of the sorrow and panic, you guys. Um, the headaches, the constant thinking about you. These headaches may even make your person feel sick to their stomach. Look at, they're in love with you. They realize that now. But now, yeah, because of the shame, because of the shame and what everybody said about you behind your back, because they believed them, because they started a good thing with you, and they just let people treat you like trash, and they did too. They did too. They left you behind like you were nothing. You know, I feel like you're a very creative person here. Now that this person's um, very, they're feeling powerless, okay? They're feeling like anything that, that they do now to come forward to try to make things better, it may be inadequate. It, you know, they may not be able to give you a good enough apology for everything. All right? Like, literally, you were dragged through the dirt and the gravel, and you did nothing wrong to these people. You did nothing wrong. You know, so now they're feeling weak because honestly, they've been the weakest link in this connection. I'm not going to lie. I'll keep it a buck. They've shown nothing but weakness. They still are because they haven't come forward to make it right yet. They may be defending you in the background, but you know what? Um, who so far has come towards you to try to make this right? Who? Have you seen this person come forward and try to confront this yet and give you an apology? Not yet. They're still the weakest link. Yeah, they're starting to defend you now. But look, yeah, look, you're, hey, you're accomplishing great things out here. I feel like you no longer need, you don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. The divine is leading you, guiding you, protecting you. You're accomplished, you're strong, you're masterful at what you're doing, and you're having the victory out here. And this person is watching this, knowing it. Yes, they've started to defend you um, against everyone else, but hey, they still have something pretty important to do. Come and try to make it right with the one who had their name and reputation and their heart dragged through the dirt. Still showing a lot of weakness here. You know, and I feel like they're going to continue to feel like this. The headaches are going to continue as well. I'm feeling this is the headaches too. Maybe they don't know what to do. They don't know how to approach you. You know, they're thinking about maybe just like coming in with a gift. They're hoping that you'll at least talk to them. They don't even know if you'll talk to them anymore because you haven't spoken to them uh, since all of this started, you know, since they left you behind because you knew your value and you had an ounce of self-respect. You know? Yeah. Choosing a path here. It's this one completely unfulfilled, man. They know you may be leaving. You could be moving, um, changing locations. You know, the, and as you go, just know you're taking this person's heart right along with you. They feel in, incomplete, unfulfilled, dissatisfied. They may want to move away as well. So I feel like 
maybe both of you are um, going in a different direction. This person, I feel like too, uh, they had to make a decision or something. Maybe with, um, maybe they were with someone else. It doesn't really specify that here. I feel like all their thoughts are on you anyway. They may want to travel towards you to come where you are. Okay, I'm seeing this as the Two of Wands energy, right? So this person could live a distance. I, you know, I just feel like they just sit and think about you and stare out into space and realize here um, that they're losing their wish fulfillment. They're losing out on their destined happiness here. You know, and if, until they come towards you and tell you, you know what, I believed everybody else. I'm sorry. I let them drag you through the dirt. I'm sorry. I left you feeling used, abused, and mistreated. I'm sorry. I didn't know your value. You know, I disrespected you. I didn't value you. I'm sorry. I didn't, con I didn't consider your feelings, nor did I stand up for you and they talked about you for a really long time until this person comes and tells you all of this you're leaving you're moving on with your life and they're going to be unfulfilled and thinking about everything that they lost until they make this right because what was done to you was is ridiculous yeah look they're I feel like, yeah, a house move is imminent. Yeah, they. here's the thing. Wherever this person has been, they're, they, you know what, they don't see the same, they don't see these people the same way anymore. I, I, I know this person is moving. They may come towards you in your direction. Um, so if this person has to travel to come towards you, you know, this could, this could be somebody even looking for a place to live, like, really close to you in your neighborhood. Um, but as far as the apology goes, they may feel like um, nothing they say is going to be good enough. Because of all, I mean, what was done to you was brutal and extreme and people kept doing it. And they would, they still want to continue to, to trash talk you, by the way. Your person, this person isn't letting them anymore. But if, if they had their choice, yeah, this would just continue to happen. Yeah. Why? We don't know. There's no reason for it. You didn't do anything bad to these people. All right. So, yeah, um, I feel like there's a masculine here that's going to be coming towards you soon or maybe even moving towards you soon. Yeah, they, they're, they've been sitting wherever they are. They're completely uninterested in it. They're completely jaded. Um, now they're just kind of wasting time. If they don't come towards you, it's a waste of time. They're wasting their time. Every day that ticks by, or every minute that ticks by. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, um, this person's going to be moving. They're going to be changing locations. You could be making a, lo a location change as well. And just know they're in a lot of regret. They are in love with you. They know what they missed out on. And they're defending you against these other people behind the scenes. Big time. Big time. As a matter of fact, I see them sticking up for you, defending you, and then leaving to go someplace else. Yeah. Let's see what they have to say. What does this person want to say to the collective? So are you, though. You're starting a new, a new beginning here, okay? A new life. I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Yeah, they don't understand why they listen to everybody else. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. What does this person want to say? I sabotaged this connection and I regret it. Yes, they did. I need to own up to where I feel sure about this relationship. They just need to own up. They need to come in and tell you all of this. Okay? They are in a lot of regret. I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. 
I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. I fear you will never forgive me. This one. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. You know, they're scared. Don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. Yeah, I can't take being away from you any longer. Yeah, um, so, you know, I feel like this person will approach you. Right now, they're in the middle of breaking free from all of these liars. Okay, They've, they're, they're walking away from a whole community or a whole group of people. And they're going to be leaving this, uh, this community behind. And then I feel like this person, I feel like eventually they're going to be coming towards you to make this apology, okay? But they're feeling pretty weak. So anyway, collective, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.